<laughs> so yet another commission report on the governance reform for West Indies cricket is in the hands of the board with some 30 and almost 40 elaborate recommendations aimed at bringing back the glory days. But question, does West Indies cricket have a governance problem? Or put it another way, are governance issues the main issues facing West Indies cricket? In the glory days of the late 70s, 80s and early 90s, how different was the governance structure to what obtains today? <laughs> I mean, when West Indies dominated the world, was it because Alan Ray and Clyde Walcott and Peter Short were such brilliant board presidents who were guided by this ingenious governance structure? Or we're clutching at straws? <laughs> In expecting West Indies cricket as we once knew it to return once we turn that elusive corner. <laughs> Without realizing that the demise of our cricket is more intrinsically linked to the changing dynamics of Caribbean culture as well as the evolution of the game itself. Let us say, for example, we implement all of these 30 yard recommendations. How much tangible improvements would we see? <laughs> I say precious little because West Indies don't have a cricket governance problem. What we have is a myriad of social, cultural, and economic problems that are being conspicuously manifested in our cricket. <laughs> Check it.